QA world. I quit. Okay guys, I have stopped transcribing for QA World, so a lot has happened actually. So I just want to let you know guys, this is just my experience with QA World. Um, uh, I personally have nothing against the company. I think it's a good stepping stone, especially if you don't have any experience because they are hiring anyone who uh, can speak English, understand English, um, to be a transcriber. So it's a very good freelance opportunity for those people who doesn't have any freelance experience. Yeah. Um, the th I, I actually was a bit disappointed with them because I, I got really put off, um, uh, because of the calls that we are receiving as analysts we don't get any um the thing is i i actually applied in qa world last november and uh, then the holidays came the holidays came and there are no calls at all so uh, a few days passed and somehow it, it's still the same case so what I'm trying to say is I chose QA World because of the flexibility. I really, really like the flexibility of QA World because I'm a mom and whenever that my child is sleeping or taking a nap, I would like to transcribe and be productive, you know? But I can't do that anymore because I'm not getting any calls. Um, uh, even if I refresh, I mean, I cannot be on my laptop all the time to refresh it, yeah? And even if I saw calls, um, when I click on it, it's error 401. Now, I understand. I understand perfectly that there is a lot of us in QA world. And being a newbie, we only receive 50% of the audio calls. That is understandable. Um, uh, but there isn't enough calls, actually. <laughs> Really, there isn't enough calls because the thing here is your account will be deactivated um, if you don't use your account for 30 days, yeah? And right now, I'm disappointed because um, even if I want to transcribe, I can't. And also, for people who have worked before, yeah? Um, you know, when you want to work, there's this momentum. It's called momentum, yeah? I always lose that because, oh shit, I feel like I want to work right now. And then, oops, no calls, yeah? So I always lose my momentum here. <laughs> and uh, what else? Aside from that, huh, okay, this one I didn't really want to bring up. But since I'm quitting, oh, if I'm going to upload this, I've already, I've already resigned. So... Since I resigned already, I really, really get, well, I get put off with our officers in charge as well, how they reply to analysts. I mean, I understand that you get frustrated with, uh, with new newbies, with new analysts asking you questions that are already on the FAQ. That is understandable. Sure, I understand that you're frustrated, but... Some of the SCC, oh, for those people who are watching who are not from QA World, the officers in charge, they're called SCC. So some of them are very rude. I mean, when they reply to analysts, um, no, they don't swear at you or anything like that. It's just that you, you can sense the sarcasm on their reply. And um, it's very unprofessional, actually. I mean, they don't know who they're chatting with. They don't know if this is like a... a well, not a child, but they don't even know if this is like a part-time student. And that person will be turned off working as a freelance agent, you know? I mean, personally, I I had several jobs already. I've, I've worked for a long time and I've worked with different people. Not all of them are nice, yeah? But <clears throat> they're very professional though. 
I work with a boss that doesn't like me and that I don't like. But whenever that we work, whenever that we email each other, we're very, very professional. Yeah? So, I really got put off with how our officers in charge replies with other analysts. They didn't do anything to me personally. <clears throat> when I asked them, I only asked them one question and it, and it was about my pay. And how I asked it is... I actually told them what I know based on the FAQ and I just want them to confirm if I'm right. So they just replied and confirmed what I already know based on the FAQ. So it was neutral. It wasn't good. It wasn't bad. Yeah. So I'm not, they didn't do anything bad to me. I don't have any bad experience towards them. It's, it's, it's what I said before. I read the, I, I read our general chat room in Slack because I want to know the questions posted there and their answers to help me transcribe. Um, and I don't like what I see. I mean, I don't want to be part of a company that has a support system like that because that really puts me off. Really, dude, I'm not, I'm not getting paid here $90 a day, you know? <laughs> this is 20 cents per minute. Yeah, I have nothing against that too. Really, I'm fine with that. And I also like the idea that you get paid when you work. That's it, yeah? I like the flexibility. I don't have any bad thing to say about the how the pay is. It's 20 cents per minute. It's just fine with me. It's just... It's just that the support system in QA world is very, very disappointing. It, it really needs improvement. Yeah, it really, really needs improvement because I'm very disappointed because QA world can be so great. Really? Um, uh, well, I just don't want to continue with that kind of job, even if it's a freelance one, because one of these days, um, if I continue working for them, I will encounter some problem, definitely. And I don't want someone or whoever that person is will reply something like that to me. I'd be very pissed off, yeah? No. <laughs> um, so yeah. So I, I don't, I don't really know how I feel about this. I feel sad and glad at the same time, if that makes sense. <laughs> <sighs> well, anyways, it was a good ride. <laughs> yeah. So I still recommend QA World actually for those people or even students who just want to have a part-time job. If you're a newbie, it's going to be hard for you to do full-time transcribing, really. Because, um, um, you only, you will only receive 50% of the call. So until you get to the second level, which is silver, then, uh, then this will just be a part time for you. But it's a good, good, um, way to earn extra income. Yeah. I'm, I don't have anything bad to say about this company. It's just that for me, no. Yeah, I don't. It's not for me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not for me. And uh, for those people who are still in QA world, who are an analyst in QA world, I wish you all the best. Yeah, so this is just me and how I feel about the company. But I still wish you luck. And uh, if you still have questions for me, you can leave a comment below and I will try to answer them. But I, 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 I no longer work there, okay? <laughs> I no longer work there. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I have other vlogs. It's on my playlist. And my other QA vlogs, I will link. I will leave the link on the description below. And... And, sorry, <clears throat> my channel doesn't have a niche, so I'm not just vlogging about QA world. I'm vlogging about everything else that's happening, yeah? 
So from skincare to um, a freelance job or how to earn money, passive income or stuff like that, or even family travel and shopping. <laughs> so it's all sort of things, sorts of things. My goodness. <sighs> Anyways, I don't, I feel a bit glum now sharing this with you, but I'm, I'm a bit glad that I did those previous vlogs about Korea World, yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you're still watching, because this, this is, this is already long. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much, guys. And I'm not discouraging you. Continue on if you like QA World. Just continue on, okay? The company's not bad. Yeah. So uh, thank you for watching. Bye.